G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Stuka Concussion Rifle. Now, this weapon is actually a Star Wars weapon. It first appeared in Dark Forces and a couple of the Jedi Academy games. So, yeah, this is one of the EU weapons that are probably not canon these days. Thank you, Disney. Anyways, we'll get right into these attachments here. And first of all, we've got the receivers. Basically, you've got the same as the laser uh, capacitors here, except for the main damage receivers. None of the damage over time or critical um, improving receivers there. And for the barrels, we'll go for a lightweight ported barrel for better range and accuracy, as well as weight there. We actually cut a little bit of weight out, which is great. Now for the stock, we never recoil compensating stock for better recoil control, no problems there. Now for the cells or the ammo, you can either have uh, power cells or plasma cartridges. And whilst plasma cartridges are a thing in the vanilla game, they actually reduce your ammo capacity by two. So it's not all that much, but the plasma, uh, the power cells, sorry, are much easier to get. So I just suggest you use those things anyway. So yeah, we'll definitely not chuck the power, uh, the plasma cartridges in that. Now for the sights, we can have a standard hollow sight here, which you can't see it right now, but it's nothing too spectacular. If we chuck on a reflex hollow sight, we should be able to use this thing to better effect in that. So that's nice. And you get two firing modes with this. So you get a concussion blast, which we'll have on now, and a concussion beam, which we'll chuck on another weapon. Now, interestingly, this one says improved damage, but as you can tell, the damage card says it'll do less damage, and that is because this thing is going to be firing an explosive projectile, which is going to be boosted by Demolition Expert, and that's exactly why it does more damage, but this one will be more of a precision uh, hit scan type weapon, so we'll definitely grab both of these, and as well, we'll have our companions with us, so we'll go ahead and uh, give them a little bit of a surprise too. There's our beam weapon just sitting there on the bed. Rain. Yeah, you better stop wasting ammo. What the hell were you shooting at? Anyways, so I've gone out and designed a power armor for each of my companions. This belongs to Winter, and we'll go ahead and get them set up. Okay, so everyone's in their respective power armors now, and they've drawn out their concussion rifles. One thing I like about power armor is it makes the oversized weapon look a little bit more in proportion, and this is a perfect weapon for that. So I'll just go ahead and uh, go over our power armors here. This is Ella in some Railroad T-51B. Bridget over here has got the gunner's emblem on her chest. That's just the basic military paint with a little bit of a gunner's decal on that. Matilda's got the, um, the Minuteman T-45. Uh, Phoebe's got the X-01 with the Institute paint. Very nice and clean. Don't get that scratched, by the way. That paint um, expensive to fix. We've got... Uh, Rain over here, she's got the Raider power arm, except I gave her the Overboss Coulter's helmet, simply because I like that a little bit better. And last but not least, we've got Winter in her Sentinel um, T60 power armor there. So that, that's good. Followers of the One Hit Wonder series will realize, yeah, that makes sense, because she did get granted the rank of a, uh, of a Sentinel in that playthrough. So that's good. And last but not least, we'll grab our set of power armor. Actually, no, we won't. We've actually already got a cool set of armor that we're wearing. This is the Battlefield for um, Engineer armor. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, it brings me back vague memories of a of sitting in that Type 99 tank and killing this guy over and over as he launches MBT laws in and out of cover. That makes me kind of angry. That was very, very irritating playing that. But yeah, Battlefield 4, good game. Better than Battlefield 1. We'll move on to shooting some actual okay, gunners Okay, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza yet again. I feel like, unlike yesterday, we'll have an easier time cutting through the gunners today. Look at us all armed to the teeth with power armor and that. Also, I'm liking the look of this T-51. I'm going to enjoy wearing that helmet, I tell you that much. Anyways, we'll get stuck into some of these gunners. Now, this thing is fairly accurate. It. Now, when they do sprint around, unfortunately, it gives me a lot of screen shake because so much power armor is running at once. But hopefully, that won't interfere with our aim too much here. So, we've line. Even when you're sneaking, you stomp around. Did you ever take the light step perk? Did you ever think of doing that? My goodness. All right. So, we'll go ahead and take out that gunner there. And as you can tell, we get a decent splash radius despite not having the most you know powerful damage on this projectile explosion here. But that fortunately means we won't be killing ourselves all that much. So we'll try to get ourselves into a situation where there's a lot of gunners to bounce the splash damage off. And look at this situation. That is definitely a good situation for getting splash damage off. Now for some reason the way... Oh, oh my god, it even pushes them telekinetically. And it... Oh, hang on. I th okay, it happened to me too. I, th I think we're down. Um, 
Covering fire. I need some covering fire. I've been knocked down and I can't get up. There we go. Okay, looks like... Okay, you're not helping, Winter. I'm blaming that one on you, but... Oh my god, unlike yesterday, we are just cutting through these gunners today. So, knowing that this thing pushes all these guys around like that, I think this thing's going to be just fine. It's like the sniper perk has gone on steroids here, so uh, we'll go ahead and switch to the laser one and see what that thing does, other than just... Oh my god, it pushes them too. What? I ne... Okay, I didn't expect this thing to be one of those physics things that would push everyone everywhere, but I'm really glad this happened. I'm also really glad that I got my companions in power armor because that means I can't be ragdolled by this, so otherwise I'd have my companions flying around everywhere. Down that gunner goes, we might as well keep pushing her along. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I think she phased out of the map. She may have helped. No, that's a definitely that's definitely a different gunner. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to our explosive one here because that's a whole lot of fun. Okay, I expected this thing to be nice and explosive, but I didn't expect it to be like that. At least uh, I think it's funny there because I'm playing as Captain Noob right now. There we go. Just gotta wait for it. That gun is gone. I don't think we'll be seeing her again. And we'll just fire a few more down there just for good measure. Yeah, I think she's dead. How are we doing over here? Hey, don't break that power armor. It costs it it costs precious resources to repair. And just for that gunner, you get a shot to the face. Okay, how are we doing over here? Pretty good, I'd say. We'll quickly just take out all of these guys. Looks like they're trying to flank us, but that's okay. Looks like we ought to make sure we're not in the line of our companion's fire, otherwise that'll end in um, us being thrown around like a ragdoll, so maybe I should have brought the power armor all along. But who cares, I'm looking awesome in some uh, Battlefield 4 engineer clothes for the US Marines. I like this thing. I like the soldier designs in Battlefield 4, they were great. Now, I'm not sure if this weapon design is exactly what it was in Dark Forces, but if it was, I'd imagine this thing would be one of the power weapons that you'd... Ooh, what's going on there? Looks like that crit just sort of gone... Okay. I was going to shoot you with another one, but one of my companions shot you, so I didn't bother there. Okay, how are we doing over this side? Still more gunners for us to kill over here? Yes, it is. So, in, it's not really the most damaging weapon in the world, but what you can do is just ragdoll people all over the place, which is pretty much as good as killing them because you get a few laughs out of it too. That person is definitely dead. And looks like we've got a few gathering over here. That one was blown so far up that Vats decided not to target them. We'll quickly pop a crit down that one. Oh, that's actually a good target to hit because she's got that Creation Club Gorse Rifle. That knocks down her mate next to her, which is great. And we'll put some more uh, plasma cells or whatever these things fire over here. Seem to be going pretty well. Someone's breaking their power armor too. That, that annoys me. That's also very expensive to replace there. Okay, more dudes over there. I think that's a hit because Vats did its whole camera angle there. No, we got... We didn't get that hit because the projectile sort of glitched over there. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. There's so many explosions right now. This is utter chaos. Okay. I'm, I'm really glad that I brought the companions along because this is just utterly crazy. Three people using this major beam weapon all at once is just... It's too much. There's some more gunners flying around. Okay, we should probably start to try to eliminate, eliminate these gunners before um, they start to kill me. Because I'd imagine they're pretty pissed off right now. And I should probably make sure I stand far enough back that I won't be actually hurt myself with the explosion of this. Or probably ragdoll myself or at least get a nasty stagger from it. Okay, we've got a group over in this sort of direction. We might as well target the one at the front and do a couple of torso shots there. That's only a conscript, so they should die pretty easily. And again, that projectile's glitching in the air. I think Kylo Ren's grabbed that bullet because that's kind of what happens in that Force Awakens movie. Okay, so <laughs> the projectile exploded, but um, then my other projectile hit them, sending, sending them hurtling towards that way. So, yeah, this is one of those weapons that's a little bit too crazy. 
I'm not sure how easy or hard it would be to turn down the physics effects of these weapons, but in a way, I kind of don't want it to. What I'd kind of like more is a little bit more damage on this, so I don't have to chase down the ones that I didn't quite kill to get thrown all the way over in that direction. And none of my companions have gone down yet, which is great. Captain Bridget is uh, giving the gunners a taste of their own medicine. And indeed, they are fucked, I'd say. Bridget, so good call there. Um, here comes another shot there. Got a couple ones behind us, which is a shame. Oh no, you've busted... Okay, I'm stuck in a car right now. I really hope that doesn't ragdoll and kill me. Okay, it didn't, but um, whoever was firing that beam cannon is going to get a demotion. They're going to get it out of their pay bonus. There. I already had a mysterious stranger. That was unnecessary, but good thing, though, we got, all, we got most of our crits back, so we'll be able to cheese these next couple of shots. Hopefully that'll be a kill on you. And... Just wait for it there. I've got a 21% chance to hit you. I'll take that. Another one over there. Bang! Straight into the wall. And one more to finish here. Actually, someone else took my kill before me. That's a shame. Ow! Stop doing that, please. That's actually very painful. Okay, we'll activate that. Hold that button down just so we can get a sort of you know, knowledge of where we are, and there we go, we've killed that gunner, or supposed to, but our projectiles got blocked, that's fine. Okay, looks like we've got two left. A little bit more than two, actually, would you believe? Okay, now we've got a nice level up there. That gunner down there is being thrown around like you wouldn't believe. That's a very spectacular bad death for that gunner. But now, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Would you mind taking out whoever's out there? Don't worry, I got it. The good old fire and forget. Hang on, didn't kill him. That's a shame. One more will do you in. Okay. So what have we got around here? Are they all... Oh my god, everyone's inside there. Yes. Okay, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be ragdolls tumbling around all the walls there, and it's going to be great. So, Sweet. open the door, back off, and fire in there. Oh my god. What a terrible day to be a gunner. Oh, looks like I can stagger myself and knock down myself. That's unfortunate. We make sure we got to make sure we come a little bit further back. But we've hit the corpse there and managed to knock ourselves over again. Just walk that one off, you'll be fine. One more in there, Bridget. You know what to do. Get him. I'm surprised they're surviving all of this. Okay, now we're done. And you know how much this damage bill is going to be? Look after your power armor, Captain Bridget. Damn it. Okay, so I think I'll ditch all the companions in here because in the confines of Gunners Plaza, I'll probably be hurtling through the air there. Oh, no. The rusty face glitch happened. This is why... We can't have nice things, Bethesda. That's not supposed to happen. I don't have a helmet to cover that up, too, so you're just going to have to deal with being a racist there. And Winter's knocked off a helmet, too. I think the um, splash damage of this gun actually contributed to all of the power armor parts breaking, but I'll quickly get all of these gals dismissed, and I'll meet you in Gunner's Plaza. Okay, so we've offloaded all of our companions. Here we are in Gunner's Plaza, and we'll get stuck into some of these gunners. As you can tell, when you've got the beam weapon, this thing is pretty much pinpoint accurate, which is great. We'll just turn on the fan so we get better frame rates, and we'll go ahead and shoot that turret over there. Obviously this thing is unsuppressed so we're going to suffer a little bit with stealth but this is not really a stealth weapon anyway so that's fine. We'll quickly just push that gunner there and wait for this one to get close and immediately one shot her. Very good. This thing despite not being a suppressed thing has the damage to one shot some pretty high level gunners so that is very good with me. Obviously if we we're using the, ex uh, the explosive one this would actually have less damage despite having more damage on the card. This thing seems to have a little bit better direct damage and the other one's a little bit more of a joke gun because yeah it's a little bit crazy being able to throw people around like this. Even with the beam weapon, I think that's a little bit too much. But it's great for making them sort of sit on the ground and, you know, not 
move so you can easily get a few hits on them, which is great. Okay, looks like we've got a whole lot of gunners in here. Thank you, more scripted spawns that actually sort of made this happen. So we'll get a little bit of gun through action whilst we're outnumbered here. And as you can tell there, we've got a great use of AP with this weapon, so we should be able to kill these guys very easily. And we'll go ahead and chain some crits here. That's crit number one. Crit number two. I think I skipped a few there because the camera sort of um, bobbed and weaved around. So unfortunately, we might not get everyone killed in this room, but we'll see. I think that might have been the last one that I lit up, but yeah, we did in fact miss one or two, but that's okay, we can light them up pretty much right away. And you know what, we'll keep this crit chain going just by manually spamming crits there. And I'm really glad I was in batch for that shot because that um, projectile landed right next to me. So another cool thing you can do with this weapon is this. <laughs> that's funny, okay. We might actually leave the explosive one on the shelf for, for a little bit because that thing's a little bit too crazy. But I'm liking this beam weapon for taking out all of the gunners in here, which um there are many. I'm, I wasn't expecting to find three in here, but that's okay. Let's we'll see if we can get a uh, collapse there. Not quite. But we can finish off that guy with a few shots there. Down you go. Okay, so I suspect we're going to make some more use out of good old gun through here. Oh my god, yes we are. Let's get cracking, shall we? Two, three, four. No, we've already lit you up. No. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, just eight. One. Oh, we got a collat there. That was awesome. I mean, it's a little bit easy to get a collat when they're all packed in like sardines like that, but whatever. I'll still take any cool um, crit shots ever. Oh, was that, was that Captain Bridget as well? Did we just one-shot her? Excellent. Okay, so unfortunately the Vats camera likes to slow down whenever you crit, which is... Um, it's a little bit hazardous for you if you've got swan charging at you like that, but uh, we've got no, we haven't got any troubles in the world right now. We can just go straight back into vats. I think that's another collateral I've got lined up there. Oh, that poor, poor basic gunner. So if nothing else you can deduce from this video is that gun feel is fucking amazing. Hell yeah. I mean, you'll never be fighting this much gunners without mods, but even still, you can you can absolutely wreck people. This is crazy. I didn't. I was actually meant to disable the uh, more scripted spawns mod because I actually find it a little bit too crazy. Like testing weapons in these conditions is fine, but you'll never face this amount of gunners, you know, in your vanilla game playtime. So yeah, there's it's a little bit too over the top in my opinion. Oh, there's Captain Bridget. So we didn't actually one-shot her. She's actually a tough gal today. We'll go ahead and crit her like that. And then push her across the room and quickly finish her off with a follow-up shot. For some reason, I always think there's going to be a long pause between shots. That's why I reloaded it before accidentally. But yeah, nope, this thing's nice and semi-auto. So we will just go ahead and kill these guys just by one-shotting them in the faces. And if they don't die, well, they'll get thrown back and we get to target someone else whilst not getting shot at. Speaking of getting shot at or hurt, oh, I'd, ex I'd expect you to take a lot of damage from hitting the wall that hard. That was kind of cool. I think I saw one of those moves in a superhero movie once. I only hope that person had a stunt double because that looked like that broke their neck. As well as that one. Okay, so there's only a few gunners left in this cesspool, so we'll quickly finish those off. You can't escape this fate. And you know what, just for shits and gigs, we'll quickly pop out our explosive one, and we'll plaster the ball with some more gunner brains, and other parts that manage to be blown off whilst firing down this particular way there. This would be the ultimate grieving weapon if this thing existed in Fallout 76. I'd make it do zero damage, but it'll just flip you around like this, so you couldn't move anyway, that would be the grieving weapon. And maybe that is why Bethesda doesn't want mods for an online game there. Although if I was grieving with this thing, I'd probably be laughing at so hard to the point where I would accidentally knock myself over with it. So, you know, I'll probably get my comeuppance once that happens, but 
Man, it'd be worth it. All right, I already cleared out this person here. I was actually expecting a little bit more to show up because I have previously had more gunners in there before, but yeah. Yeah, a couple of people have been asking what I think about um, Fallout 76. Maybe I'll do a stream one of these days playing something like Fallout 4, just shooting the shit and, yeah, sort of have a discussion stream about it because that's something that I've seen other big YouTubers do and, yeah, I feel like that's a cool place to speculate, maybe formulate ideas, maybe get a few clans going. Everyone can join the Commonwealth Gunners run by me in Fallout 76, that'd be fun. But I think you get the picture with this weapon. We'll move on to Swan, see if we can't ragdoll him though, that's what I want to do. Okay, looks like Swan's got his hands full with a bunch of rust devils there, and by that I mean he's taking them out nice and easily. So you know what, let's go and help the rust devils out by pushing him right off the map. And you too, why not? Or so you, Mr. Rust Devil, you can go down, or Miss Rust Devil, I should say. And what else have we got around here? Just some idiot Rust Devils who should have been not here, anywhere but here. You're going to Mars now, goodbye. Ah, there's Mr. Swan. Yeah, come at me, man. Let's see what you got, eh? Man, he is out of here. Ooh, he's actually hit the... <laughs> He's actually hit the, um, collision barrier and got pushed that way. <laughs> oh my god, this is brilliant. Alright, well, we're in caution now. Swan's sort of forgotten about us because we managed to get that far away from him. But unless we push him off the map, he will not um, escape this cruel fate of his today. This is a payback for killing my, um, special Charlie's Angels companion girls all those times that you did, Mr. Swan. Also, he's past a collision barrier where I can go through, so I can't actually hit him now, which means we won't be able to loot him? Don't think we would be. He's completely stuck because I think he can't pass through there, so... Uh, we'll quickly just light him up in vats a little bit. We'll get a little bit of concentrated fire going on his head there. Hopefully we won't push him too far to the point where he is totally unreachable, but that's definitely a distinct possibility in this situation. He's still going. He's going sideways now, so he might be hitting more. Um, oh man, where... Are... He's still going. I, I think he's out of here. I think we can count this as a one fight there because I cannot go further than this. That's the fence telling you, yeah, you should probably stop now and turn around and look at Swan all over there. He looks so confused. How did I get here, he says. He's like confused about where he is because, yeah, I think I can call this a one fight there. I don't think we have to deal with Swan for a long time now. He might have a little bit of trouble finding his way back there. So... If you feel like using this thing in your game, links will be in the description below. And I'll also chuck links to my companion mods down in the description too. Oh, we didn't actually ragdoll that Mylurk. He must have had the rooted perk. That would have helped him out, right? He's rooted into the ground. What about you? Hmm. Mylurks don't seem to be um, ragdolled by this. Maybe it's because I one-shotted them and the game doesn't even bother to throw them around for processing power reasons anyway, and here we are at the settlement which has the Mylurk Queen in it before you liberate it. So we'll get into the light here and we'll call it a video there. I'll also place a link to this armor mod that I'm having here which allows me to wear the Battlefield 4 armors because they're really cool and yeah. Download them if you want. Thank you for watching guys.